ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಭಾಗದ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಪದವಿಪೂರ್ವ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಅನುಕೂಲಕ್ಕೆಂದು ಉಡುಪಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರೂಪಿಸಿರುವ ಸಿಇಟಿ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ತರಗತಿ ತರಗತಿಗಳ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗೆ ಇಂದಿನಿಂದ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ತರಗತಿಗಳು ಇಂದಿನಿಂದ ಅಧಿಕೃತವಾಗಿ ಆರಂಭವಾಗಲಿದೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆಸರಾದ ಉಡುಪಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮೊದಲಿಂದಲೂ ಕೂಡ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಷಯಕ್ಕೆ ವಿಶೇಷ ಪ್ರಾಶಸ್ತ್ಯವಿದೆ ಜಗತ್ತಿನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಶಾಖೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ವಿಶೇಷ ಸ್ಥಾನವಿದೆ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂದರೇನೆ ವಿಶೇಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಸತ್ಯವನ್ನು ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ವಿಸ್ಮಯಗಳನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತಹ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಒಲವಿದೆ ಆಗ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ಟೇಲ್ ಒಂದೆಡೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಲುಕ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯ ಸತ್ಯವನ್ನು ವಿಸ್ಮಯವನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತಹ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನವನ್ನು ಆಯ್ದುಕೊಂಡ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವೃಂದವನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಅದನ್ನು ಬೋಧಿಸುತ್ತಿರುವ ಉಪನ್ಯಾಸಕ ವರ್ಗವನ್ನು ನಾನು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಭಿನಂದಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಈ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಉಡುಪಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರೂಪಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಈ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನವನ್ನು ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಪಡಿಬೇಕು ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಪದವಿರುವ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆ ಕೈ ಜೋಡಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ಎಂ ಐ ಟಿಯ ಮಣಿಪಾಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿಯ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಲಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮದ್ದೋಡಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರ ಬಳಗ ಹಾಗೂ ಎನ್ ಐ ಸಿಯ ಹರ್ಷರಾಜ್ ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರ ಟೀಮ್ ಇವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಪರಿಶ್ರಮ ಸಾರ್ಥಕ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಂತಾದ್ರೆ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದರ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಸಾಧನೆಯನ್ನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಈ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ನಾನು ಎರಡು ನಿಯಮ ನಿಯಮಾವಳಿಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೇನೆ ಮೊತ್ತ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ತಪ್ಪದೆ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇದು ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಮೂರರಿಂದ ನಾಲ್ಕೂವರೆ ತನಕ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಶನಿವಾರ ದಿನ ಒಂದೂವರೆಯಿಂದ ಮೂರರ ತನಕ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿಗಳು ಏನು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅನ್ನು ನೀವು ಮೊದಲೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ನಿಂದ ಅಥವಾ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿಗಳಿಂದ ಪಡೆದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೈಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಮುಂದೆ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ವಿಷಯವನ್ನು ನೀವು ಗಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇದರಿಂದ ನೀವು ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನವನ್ನು ಪಡಿಬೇಕು ಇಷ್ಟು ಹೇಳುತ್ತಾ ನಾನು ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ಸ್ವಾಗತಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಇದರ ಮೊದಲ ತರಗತಿಯನ್ನು ಬೈಂದೂರು ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಬಯೋಲಜಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಗಿರುವ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಸುಜಾತ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಅವರು ತಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರಿಗೂ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಪರವಾಗಿ ನಾನು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನನ್ನ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರಗಳು ಆ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಉಪನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರು ಪದವಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಉಡುಪಿ ಇವರ ಸಹಯೋಗದೊಂದಿಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ವೃತ್ತಿಪರ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣದ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇಚ್ಛಿಸುವ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಸಿಇಟಿ ಮತ್ತು ನೀಟ್ ನಂತಹ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳನ್ನು ಬರೀಬೇಕಾಗ್ತದೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ತಮ್ಮನ್ನು ತಾವು ತೊಡಗಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ತರಹದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಗಳನ್ನು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಅಭಿನಂದಿಸುತ್ತಾ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇವೆ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿಯ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಆಂಡ್
a, a concept here is about the asexual reproduction we should know vegetative propagation is also a vegeta uh, asexual reproduction and what are the characteristic feature of an asexual reproduction asexual in asexual reproduction there is a single parent there is no involvement of gamete and no elaborate process of fertilization syngamy gamete transfer etc etc and the another striking characteristic feature of asexual reproduction is the inheritance of characteristic is as that of exactly as that of the parent to the offsprings and once you know the characteristic feature of asexual mode of reproduction now you understood the genetic traits the genetic traits of plants can be maintained indefinitely through vegetative propagation how you can say genetic traits are anuvamshiya guna lakshanagal anuvamshiya guna lakshanagal ondu gidadalli eshto generation varegu hage maintain agabodu yavaga vegetative propagation antandre any part of the plant body other than the reproductive system stem irabodu root irabodu leaf yugalu tannane holu innondu jeeviyanna utpatti madidre any vegetative part of the plant body we call it as vegetative propagule which is involved in the vegetative propagation huh? uh, that is the assertion the reason for that is vegetative propagation does not involve meiosis and syngamy vegetative propagation alli for example root irabodu stem irabodu leaf irabodu allelladru meiosis varutta illa allelladru syngamy varutta meiosis andre enu reductional division ರಿಡಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಗೋದು ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಯಾವತ್ತು ಗ್ಯಾಮಿಟೋಜೆನಿಸಿಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಗೆಮಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಎಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸಿಂಗೆಮಿ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಯಾವತ್ತು ಗ್ಯಾಮಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ಯಾಮಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ನಾವು ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೊಪಗ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ದ ಆಕ್ಸಲರಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ or the sucker offset stole on runner and the bryophyllum leaf bud or it may be the uh, rhizome or it may be the uh, <clears throat> bulb tuber a uh, corm all these things you have studied with the image in the first chapter all these are vegetative propagules these vegetative propagules Hmm? see vegetative propagation is a type of asexual reproduction involving the formation of new plantlets from vegetative part of the parent plant artha ta gelidnala stem root leaf as it is an asexual reproduction offspring produced are not only identical but also exact copy of their parents so they can be clones hmm? vegetative propagation involves only mitosis hmm? syngamy and meiosis are two processes brings variation in offsprings of sexual reproduction that means these two that's answer is b answer is b the b means see see both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the right reason for the assertion antandre vegetative propagation alle syngamy matte irodilla is it understood so the answer is b we will go for the next question match the following it is match the following here the all this in the column a column 1 we have all the vegetative propagules in the column b the example which particular plant go for such vegetative propagation and this is the continuation of the first question first question alli vegetative propagation we have given an idea asexual reproduction and rain one idea kalthkodidivi idalli the different parts of the plant body how it go for vegetative propagation in that the bulb will rhizome offset leaf bud ah uh, how is a bulb will hmm? these are the options see bulb will of agave looks like this and the leaf bud of bryophyllum see the leaf at its end produces the leaf bud and this is actually the modified uh, flower 
for the instead of uh, develop into seeds it develops into a plantlet and offset of water hyacinth this is the offset and when you cut here these two can behave as an independent plant and that is offset of and one more is the rhizome hmm? the rhizome uh, which shows the uh, ginger of a rhizome uh, you will see the uh, this is the ginger it shows the new plantlet if you detach it can grow into a new plantlet so uh, what will be the option see bulbil now you can sell bulbil is again a is 3 the rhizome that is ginger 2 1 uh, offset water hyacinth uh, that is 4 leaf bud that is a bryophila that is so option c is the right answer option c is the uh, right answer uh, leaf bud sorry so the option b See, D, leaf bud, that is a bryophyll. Option A, that is option A, bulbil, that is again 3, that is B is the right answer. Okay. See, the match the following and it, here you can make four different questions. Why I have given my match the following is, in this, they may ask the question. Uh, produces offset through what type of reproduction that is my what type of division you can expect in a production of offset of what I asked that is my houses or we can say uh, the name the uh, vegetative propagale of a gave that is bulbil all these four can be four different questions okay yes I think you have understood the second question right answer is B so we will move for the next question third question so answer is B. Next one, third question, statement. Parents and offsprings are identical in nature in sexual reproduction. Parents and offsprings are identical in nature in sexual reproduction. Just note, identical in nature and sexual reproduction. Reason, sexual reproduction involves crossing over and sexual reproduction involves crossing over and singing. First, now the concept about asexual reproduction is over now concentrate on a sexual reproduction what are the characteristic feature of a sexual reproduction in the sexual reproduction there is a involvement of two gametes means there is a presence of two parents when there is a formation of gametes obviously there will be crossing over and once there is a fusion of gamete there is a syngamy the mixing of maternal and paternal characteristic is definitely will be there and uh, the crossing over which takes place in meiosis in a packeting stage these two are the two main reason for variation in a sexual reproduction as you already know so that the, in the statement itself you can understand it is but not I identical so sexual reproduction that means statement is wrong parents and yes, offspring are parent. not identical in sexual reproduction okay statement is wrong but the reason is it uh, reason is the sexual reproduction in crossing over syngamy this is the reason is right sexual reproduction only syngamy irutte crossing over irutte adu satya adre statement helta irudu tappu sexual reproduction only now iga ondu parents ge naalku makkal idre naalku makkalu zarak copy alla Tumba difference. How the law? Crossing over. Hagagi statement is wrong. So we will see that in the next slide. Both statement and reason, right? And this we will see afterwards. We we'll look at the images. See, this is the grandparent. This is the parent. This is the kid. See, there is a similarity. They are not identical. See, there is a similarity in the nose. There is a similarity in the smiling. But can you see the forehead? Can you see the eyebrow? There is a difference. Huh? There is a difference. Means they are 
see grandparent parent and offsprings are not identical but few similarities are there few similarities are there hence see what is the reason for this see there is a i told what is exactly crossing over this is the two non sister chromatids paternal this is the uh, paternal chromosome this is the maternal chromosome uh, in the crossing over that is in the meiosis in the meiosis in a packeting stage there is a crossing over leads to the chiasma formation as a result maternal and paternal chromosome shows exchange of segments exchange of segments because of exchange of uh, may i pardon sir i can't listen to you is there any problem in the audibility is there any problem with audibility may i yeah, no problem madam carry on huh? carry on yeah it's the screen easy. is shared with you you can look at the screen yes sir no screen cast are you audible to am i audible to you sir okay no shall i continue okay thank you sir there is a crossing over and exchange of segment is there and next one is the fusion of gametes that is the syngamy may sperm fuses with the egg that leads to the fertilization and these two process that is nothing but the crossing over and syngamy so answer is c what is the c option we will see now c option c the c option statement is wrong yes we already know statement is wrong but reason is right hence the option c is the right answer okay understood okay we will go for the next question next pick up the wrong statement huh? pick up the wrong statement we will see the statement plants like strobilus kuntiana flowers once in 12 years cyclical changes in the female reproductive structure in placental mammals is called estrous cycle development of female gamete into new organisms without fertilization is called parthenogenesis embryogenesis involves cell division and cell differentiation of embryo this all these statements the first statement is about the the different phases of reproduction and how many years a plant will uh, take a phase in a vegetative phase and next it enters into reproductive phase the second is about the uh, menstrual cycle and uh, estrous cycle that is a cyclical change in the female reproductive structure in placental mammal is called estrous cycle if it is in a primate it is called as menstrual cycle uh, the, know. we know that strobilus uh, strobilus kuntiana flowers once in 12 year that is a neel kurunji plant in a neelgiri hills gotunt namge 12 varshak one sala hu agutte adralli ant hagagi statement correct eradne statement eno a cyclical change in the female reproductive structure in placental mammals is called estrous cycle ella seasonal breeders iga hakki gal irbodu cat irbodu avugalella varshada yavudo ondu time alli matra mari haktave avugala female in reproductive system alli ago changes ige navu estrous cycle anta helthivi ee statement to write thane nevu odidiri next is development of female gamete into new organisms without fertilization is called parthenogenesis this you have studied very perfectly in the honey bee sex determination hmm? where the female gamete if it fuses with the male gamete produced from the drone it will be developed into diploid female it may be either converted into queen or the worker if the egg if it fails to uh, fuse with the male gamete it develops into male or the drone that we know the development of female gamete without fertilization is called as parthenogenesis that we know very perfectly last one is what is embryogenesis it is nothing but process of formation of embryo how it occurs that is through two process 
cell division and cell differentiation first cell undergo keep on divi uh, division to form mass of cell we call it as a morula later all these cells arrange themselves to form blastula gastrula afterwards it will take definite function uh, it may be developed into mesoderm ecto ect ectoderm endoderm mesoderm later they develop into different tissues maybe the epithelial tissue nervous tissue etc etc that is embryogenesis but the process starts with what the entire process of embryogenesis begins with single cell diploid zygote which is the beginner of life but here the statement is embryo it is not embryo it is a zygote. so student please read the entire question first an entire statement or entire answer then come to a conclusion please don't be nary so actual wrong uh, statement is actually d but uh, we will go for the some slides regarding these things see here it is a neil kurunji grows once in 12 years this is the easter cycle and ovulation where exactly it occurs and this is parthenogenesis in aphid daphnia honeybee weep tail lizard uh, that may be asked somewhere and this is about the cell cycle and cell. see the how the cell divides first is a division next is a stem cell uh, maybe get transformed into muscle cell now neural cell etc etc variety of cell it may produce that means all the four four things it is right but it begins with the zygote see here so answer is uh, d next fifth question match the following column one column one you can see the different aspects of gametogenesis you can see here and how the gametes are formed and uh, what are the structures involved in the gamete formation is a single organism is sufficient for gamete formation or it requires two organisms and all those uh, things you are uh, uh, this uh, question is going to cover up first one is heterogametes next monoecious pistillate uh, hermaphrodite meiocytes these are different type of flowers or the organisms Mm -hmm. in, on the other side in the column two gamete mother cell found in a diploid organism a bisexual animal with both male and female reproductive organisms third one organisms with morphologically distinct types of gametes fourth one a bisexual condition in fungi and plants fifth one plant bearing female flowers only this is the things i think you are having the paper with you so we'll go a little fast okay students Now see an organism producing both, uh, it is in a fucus, you will see female gamete egg and the sperm, in case of uh, human beings egg and the sperm, this is heterogamety, an organism producing two morphologically distinct type of gametes in sexual reproduction is called as heterogametes, hetero means two or a different, two different morphologically distinct type of gametes are characteristic feature of heterogamety. Uh, next one, what is monoecious? Mono means single. Eecious means organism. Single organism bearing two different type of reproductive system, androecium and gynoecium, male or female. That is, you will see stigma. Uh, you can see here, this is the anther, male and female reproductive structure in one flower. Monoecious condition. Next. Here, a plant having only female flower or a, uh, or a flower having only pistil is called as pistillate flower. Flower having, so, this is South Ekai, Gumla Kai, and the other thing is that 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 the pistillate flower. Yava flower is only female. Uh, only female flower matra irate athara flower again we call it as a pistillate flower in on the this is about the uh, plants animals are like it on the earth 
ನೀವು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದಿರಿ ಅರ್ತ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೊಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡೈಟ್ ಒಂದೇ ಜೀವಿಯ ದೇಹದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವೀಗ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದಿರಿ ಆ ಪ್ಲನೇರಿಯಾ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒಂದೇ ಜೀವಿಯ ದೇಹದಲ್ಲಿ ಇತ್ತು ಅರ್ತ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಥಿಯರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿದಿರಿ ಬೋತ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ we call it as hermaphrodite condition iga nodi the testis and ovary in a single organism we call it as hermaphrodite condition the option uh, so answer a is 3 b is 4 uh, c is 5 d is 2 e is 1 answer is a hmm? i think you are having already questions with you so i will not go back and once again i'll say because time is less for us okay answer is a next which of the following statement is true here now till now we have completed almost all the aspects of first chapter sexual reproduction in organism next we will go for uh, sexual reproduction in flowering plants in that uh, directly we will move on to the uh, male reproductive system that is a microsporangium hmm? that is a anther uh, and microsporangia uh pollen grain and microspores all those details we, we will try to cover in two three uh, questions first one is which of the following statement is not true tapetum helps in dehiscence of anther exine of pollen grains is made up of sporopollenin most species of pollen grains can cause allergic reactions none of the above here four state three statements is are that and all these three statement something related to the structure of uh, uh, ts of young anther uh, and in order to understand this you should know where exactly tapetum is there what is its function and you should know the position of exine and uh, chemical it is composed of and uh, you should have the idea of pollen grains so see this is the structure of young anther and in this you will see outermost is epidermis next is endothelium innermost is tapetum what exactly the function of a uh, second layer is endothelium where cells develops thickenings middle layer is made up of 2 uh, to 4 so innermost layer tapetum which provides nutrition and not helps in the dehiscence dehiscence job is the endothelium so that is uh, wrong one as per the this thing this is the pollen grain the pollen grain outermost layer is exine innermost is intine we know that exine is made up of very hard uh, it is a very hardest chemical very hardest chemical sporopollenin it is made up of intine give rise to pollen tube those details we know so pollen grains of many species cause severe allergies and respiratory disorder that we know parthenium or carrot grass usually causes the uh, diseases so this is uh, third one is uh, allergic reactions right and exine is made up of sporopollenin and the first one is the endothelium uh, uh, that is none of the endo uh, it is tapetum helps in it nourishes Uh, tapetum helps in the nourishment so uh, if it is nourishes if it is there okay otherwise it has went to the next Uh, yes sorry it is a is the right answer a is the tapetum helps in dehiscence which one is not true so a is the right answer there i have written d sorry a is the right answer okay so we'll move to the next one statement pollen grains are well preserved as fossils pollen grains are well preserved as fossils it's a statement uh reason you know pollen grains can withstand high temperature and strong acids and all preserve pollen grains on yesto varshadavarige fossil agide preserve aglikke sadhyate untu anta yake adakkarana avaru kodtare 
ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಹೈ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ಕಲಿ ಒಂದ್ ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಟೆಂಪರೇಚರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಅದು ತನ್ ಸಹಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬೇಕು ಆ ಸಹಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಉಂಟು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹೌದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಆ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ರೈಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ಕಲಿ ಅದ್ರ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಒಂದ್ ವಸ್ತು ಫಾಸಿಲ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೋತ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ See, this is the pollen grain, characteristic feature of pollen grain. Pollen grain, you know, it is a male gametophyte. What is its uh, size? It is made up of two layers. Outer exine, it is made up of chemical sporopollenin. And this point says all its characteristic feature. See, it can withstand with a high strong acid alkali temperature. Huh? No enzyme can degrade sporopollenin is so far known. Exine has a prominent temperature called germ pore, where sporopollenin is absent. inner layer is so answer is d hmm? both are right one so large size abundant food reserve of vegetative cell attribute to iga this is something about the uh, uh, sp pollen grain two cells now till now you have studied anther uh, its ts and you studied the external feature of pollen grain or the characteristic feature of pollen grain next we will see inside the pollen grain it is made up of two cell usually we say that pollen grains are released in two cell stage what are those two cells uh, this question pertaining about the two cells of the pollen grain pollen grains are made up of vegetative cells and generative cell and here what is the job of a vegetative cell that's our question uh, vegetative cell other uh, ಅದ್ರ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಯಾಕೆ ಅದುಂಟು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಸೈಜ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಲ್ ತುಂಬಾ ದೊಡ್ಡದುಂಟು ಅಬಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ ಉಂಟು ಯಾಕೆ ಅವ್ರು ರೀಸನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಬೆಳಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಬೇಕು ಫುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಗೆ ಫುಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡದಾಗುಂಟು ವೆಜಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಫಾರ್ ಪೋಲಂಟಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಮೇಲ್ ಗ್ಯಾಮೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪೋಲಂಟಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತುಂಟು ಥ್ರೂ ಪೋಲಂಟ್ through germ pore through germ pore pollen tube will comes out which carries two haploid male gametes a uh, two haploid male gamete for the transfer of these two haploid male gametes uh, uh, as per them for the transfer of these two haploid pollen ga male gametes and the uh, for the formation of pollen tube the vegetative cell such a large size and abundant food is required and the more the statement helte for easy sticking on to the stigma one namge easy ga artha agutte for the development of generative cell idu tappe tappu adu yakandre already pollen grain alli ellu cell untu so this is a wrong one food for pollinators if it is a food for pollinators amale generative cell badukode illa howda so for the pollen tube formation and for the transport of two male gametes the pollen tube formation aglikku namge pollen grains galu beko and for the uh, for the pollen tube formation as well as for the transport of those two male gametes till to the micropylar end and even till to the synergid we require this vegetative cell contribution a lot hmm? uh, so third one is the right answer as we know as we know but still for easy sticking on to the stigma it is already stick to the stigma so uh, outside already the exine and intine is there so the vegetative cell nothing to do with the attachment of pollen grain with on to the stigma so just we will uh, clarify that see here the diagram this is exine this is intine you will see the germ pore formation of pollen tube and this is the tube nucleus it carries the uh, two generative nucleus thus to carry the two sperm nucleus and to supply the nutrition for the developing sperm nucleus and for the formation of pollen tube this entire uh, 
vegetative cell is used up. Huh? So diagram explaining the role of vegetative and tube cell supply nutrients to the developing pollen grains and formation of pollen tube. So answer is C. Okay, we'll go for the next question. Ninth one. Uh, one microsporangium of a plant contains 10 microspore mother cell. What will be the number of pollen grains? What will be the number of pollen grains produced from one anther of that plant? In order to understand this question, this question is about to, for the calculation. We know already in the microsporangium anther, there are four loops. In each one, microsporangia are there. Inside this, in the pollen sac, we will see microspore mother cell. They are talking one microsporangium. One microsporangium contains how many? 10 microspores. Microspore mother cell. One then hatuntu. What will be number of pollen grains produced from one anther of that plant? One anther, entire anther in the yes to pollen grain production agate. One ra pollen mother cell koti dar yes to uh, oh, microspore mother cell is 10. Microspore mother cell 10 in 1. Then what will be in the 4 at the other now first go to the microspore mother cell is deployed which is actually, you know, this question is purely on a gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is not a meiosis. This question is not a question. Gametogenesis occurs inside the microsporangium. Microspore mother cell is actually involved in the meiosis. Microspore mother cell undergo meiosis to form Always one has to remember one meiotic division result in the formation of four cells. Hagagi, 10 microspore mother cell in the one in the nalkma pollen grain production agathe and tandre, hatr in the nalvataitu. Our anakr in the estaitu, that is 160. Yes or no? Huh? That is, it is simple. The one MMC produces four. So, 10 into 4, 40. So, so 40 into 4 means 4 pollen sacs are there. Hence, it is 160. Hmm? So, right answer is A. Right answer is A. Is it understood? So, these questions uh, you have to calculate. They may give you the micro pollen grains. You are supposed to uh, calculate the MMCs or they will ask you in the, all the four. They will give you the number of MMC. You have to reduce it for one like that. The question may be slightly altered, but the concept is same. But you should know, you should be perfect with the meiosis. Okay. So, answer is A. Next, we will go for the next question. Here, the functional megaspore. This is now microsporogenesis over. Next is megasporogenesis. In a megasporogenesis, the functional uh, megasporogenesis, megasporangium, ovule, female reproductive system related questions. The functional megaspore undergoes how many nuclear division to form mature embryo sac? Uh, when the functional megaspore yes to sala divide agate functional now first to go to the diagram direct option samil nadwa ega one the megaspore mother cell yelli the new cell asali facing towards the micropylar region one of the new cellar cell transforms into megaspore mother cell adu deployed agate a deployed megaspore mother cell undergo meiosis to form four haploid cells of this only one is functional. Three undergo degeneration. Only one become functional. This functional megaspore or embryo sac is haploid. This haploid embryo sac undergo mitosis. Is only one mitosis, two, three.
three three mitotic division one mitosis only two nucleus second mitosis only four nucleus in the third mitosis you will see formation of eight nuclei and this eight nuclei getting transforms into seven cells seven cells uh, so there is a successive three mitotic division you can see one two three continuous free nuclear division that leads to the transformation of one functional megaspore into embryo sac so the answer is b okay huh? go for the next one i hope you have understood huh? now in the majority of angiosperms which is true ella angiosperms alli majority of angiosperm which is true here nalku statement kotidare angiosperm alli idralli yav statement sari anta a small central cell is present in the embryo sac idakke ning first gottirbeku embryo sac hege untu anta idi question nimge embryo sac bage gottunta illva anadanu tilkolodu ee question ina uddesha agirutade a small central cell is present in the embryo sac the egg has fully form apparatus there is a single polar nucleus in the central cell reduction division occurs in the megaspore mother cell first uh, first statement you know a small central cell is present in the embryo sac iga central cell yavudu idu central cell no central cell eshtu doddu untu avda central cell is not small so this is not true huh? a small central cell is present in the embryo sac no it is not true the egg has filiform apparatus egg gal filiform apparatus iruda nam gottuntu filiform apparatus idu synergid cell synergid cell alli nodi filiform apparatus kanustha untu hagage synergid cell alli filiform apparatus untu there is a single polar nucleus in the central cell idu central cell iga nam gottuntu idu central cell ee central cell alli eshtu polar nucleus untu eradu untu hagage single polar nucleus alla mooru true statement alla nalkne edenu Reduction division occurs in the megaspore mother cell. Already know it. Megaspore, previous question, megaspore mother cell, it has undergone meiosis to produce four uh, megaspores. In that, only one become functional, three has undergone degeneration. And then, reduction division occurs in the megaspore mother cell. And then, E option, right option, note what? C, D is the right answer, okay? Next one. match the following uh, here uh, this once again about the uh, uh, ploidy of the different parts of the uh, uh, embryo sac and uh, before and after fertilization or something uh, here new cellus endosperm a uh, new cellus is before fertilization endosperm is after fertilization megaspore mother cell it is uh, fully related about the female uh, that is uh, gynaecium aspects the egg cell polar nucleus secondary nucleus and other side their genetic makeup is given hmm? one thing anybody can say egg cell is haploid egg cell is haploid egg cell haploid polar nucleus so that we will see now Huh? egg cell haploid nam gottuntu new cellus is deployed 2n endosperm matra 3n mattello u saha il nodi egg cell haploid uh, new cellus deployed amele uh, polar nuclei haploid central cell haploid huh? uh, only triploid is Uh, the uh, uh, endosperm cells, all the rest are haploid or diploid. Here, all are diploid except for embryo sac, new cellus, integuments. They are all diploid, and uh, polar nuclei haploid, antipodals haploid, egg cell haploid, synergids haploid. Hmm? Okay, new cellus uh, endosperm is diploid. So, option answer is A. Huh? A. that is 5 uh, uh, b3 c4 d1 e 4 uh, f2 hmm? okay 
आंसर इज ये विद रेफरेंस टू वैलिस पिक अप द राइट कमेंट नाउ विल मूव ऑन टू द नाउ गैमिटोजेनेसिस इज ओवर इन अ फ्लावरिंग प्लांट नेक्स्ट इज गैमिट ट्रांसफर gamete transfer is through different pollinating agents maybe the wind water or the animals what type of pollination in case this is with reference to uh, hydrophily in water pollination valisneria is a aquatic plant aquatic plant alli pollination hegagutte uh, uh, first illond this to comment over madlu valisneria the pollination hegagutte anno knowledge namge irbeku valisneria is uh, uh, submerged plant it is present deep inside the water and it releases its uh, um, uh, male flowers uh, to the surface and the uh, style will uh, it is called in the beginning as the mature style will be open up and, uh, and the flower will bloom to the surface and the moving pollen grains will be uh, placed on the stigma of the open flower thereby pollination takes place but here both may uh, what will the statements here just we'll see both male and female flowers are released from the plant and float on the surface of water in this male flower is released but not the female flowers so this is not the right statement only the female flowers are released from the plant while male flowers are brought to the surface by long pedicels no a uh, female flowers release adre सीड आगली सो फीमेल फ्लवर्स आर् नाट रिज ओनली द मेल फ्लवर्स आर् रिज इू अल एक्सक्यूज मी एक्सक्यूज ओनली द मेल फ्लवर्स आर् रिज फ्रम द प्लांट वैल द फीमेल फ्लवर्स आर् ब्रॉट टू द सर्फेस बै लांग पेडिसल चित्र आम तोर्तीन सो सी आक्चुअली रईट आंसर tourstini any one of the two types of flowers can be released no 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 such options are there see now here valisneria see this is the staminate this is the male flower male flower in the uh, this is actually the inflorescence male flower release agide nodi male gade hogta untu it is released to the surface while the female flower see the long pedicel it is called the coils are released and female flowers are bloomed on the surface so the male flower is reaching the female flower thereby fertilization takes place so the third statement uh, where the male flowers are released female flowers are not released they are open to the surface with the long pedicel the option c is the right one pollination in valisneria uh in which of the following group of plants pollinators are not required for seed setting because in which of the following group of plants pollinators are not required for seed setting because ha uh, e questions pollinators yavdo on kade il beda ant idare pollinators yavaga bekagudilla on the plant ige autogamina gaitinogamina xenogamina ना नोड़े आटो गमियल स्वल्प यार बे अल पोलन ग्रेन आस्टिक मेल बीलिए प्लांट यहाँ प्लांटल पॉलिनेटर्स आर् नाट एट रिक्वर्ड यहाँ वेर दर्ज ए क्लीस टू गैम फ्लवर्स य्लवर् ओपन आगोदेटली द पोलन ग्रेन विफिनेटली फॉल आ स्टिग आफ द सेम प्लांट नो नीड आफ नो चांस आफ फ्लिंग अवे आफ दिस पोलन ग्रेन and definitely stigma will receive the pollen grains and cleaves to a gamus flower flowers which are always closed huh? they never require uh, pollinators and here there are so many flower name plant names are given which are all cleaves to a gamus one nam gotte beku cleaves to a gamus flowers always shows the uh, they never require pollinators why they are closed to flowers the comalina oxalis viola that is b just see now the pollinators are required for gamete transfer here male and female gametes are brought together for fertilization all these events occur when both gametes are far away eradu gametes gal dur dur idre matra namge pollinators na avashyakate untu pollinators are not required when both gametes are very close to one another that is in cleistogamous flowers
ಸಿ ವಯೋಲಾ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಮೊಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಹೀಗೆ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದು ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇದು ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಭೂಮಿ ಅಡಿಗಡೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹೇಗೆ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಅವ್ರು ಯಾರು ಇದು ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ದಾರೆ ವೇರ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಭೂಮಿ ಅಡಿಯಲ್ಲೇ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೀಡ್ ಸಹ ಆಗೋಗಿದೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಅದೇ ತರ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ವಯೋಲಾ ಇದು ಓಪನ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಮೊಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಾಲಿಸ್ ಕೊಮಾಲಿನ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಮೊಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಕ್ಲೀಸ್ಟೋಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತದೆ ನೋಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ಮೊಗ್ಯಾಮಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಅರಾಕಿಸ್ ಹೈಪೋಜಿಯ ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಕಿ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೆದರಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಬೋ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಕಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಲೈಟ್ ವೇಟ್ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಹಾರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಕಿ ಯಾವ್ದಕ್ಕೂ ಅಂಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ತುಂಬಾ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಫೆದರಿ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಹಾರ್ಕೊಂಬಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆಗಿರೋದು ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಒಬ್ಯೂಲ್ ಒಬ್ಯೂಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಬೌ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟಿಗ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಕಿ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಕಾಲಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಅಂಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೆದರಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆ ಈವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಮಾತ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಫೆದರಿ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಆರ್ ಅ ಲೈಟ್ ವೇಟ್ ನಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಕಿ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ದಾ ಇಸ್ ದಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಈಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ದೇ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಅ ಫುಡ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಂಡ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಫಿಲಮೆಂಟಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಲೂಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫೆದರಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ the answer is window uh, d is the answer the phenomena of maturation of anthers earlier than the stigma of the same flower hmm. the phenomena of maturation of anthers earlier than the stigma of the same flower is called as so this student e question the something related to the how to avoid how to avoid uh, inbreeding depression how to go for outbreeding that is all these are outbreeding devices in our book they have not mentioned this word but they had given in a uh, explanatory way hmm? uh, in a dicliny where you will see the separate male and female flowers are present in separate pla plant hmm? why there should be ಔಟ್ ಬ್ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ ಅಂತ ಈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಫಿನಾಮಿನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಥರ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೆಚ್ಚಿನ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಗಳು ಮೊನಿಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಮೇಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೀ ಡೈಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತವೆ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒಂದೇ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅವುಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಸರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪಾಲಿನೇಷನ್ ಆದ್ರೆ
ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಮೆಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೈನೇಷಿಯಂ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಗೈನೇಷಿಯಂ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಆಗೋ ಮೊದ್ಲೇ ಪೋಲಂಗ್ರೈನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಗೈನೇಷಿಯಂ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮಾ ಈ ಯಾವ್ದೋ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿನ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ಅನ್ನು ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿನ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ಆ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟಿನ ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮ ಮೇಲೆ ಬೆಳೆದೇ ಇದ್ದಾಗೆ ಒಂದು ಬೇಗ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಲೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರೋಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರಿ ಪ್ರೋಟೋಗೈನ್ ಅವ್ರು ಏನ್ ಕೇಳಿರೋದು ದ ಫಿನೋಮಿನ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಚುರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಥರ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮ ಆಂಥರೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಚೂರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಪ್ರೋಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರಿ ಹ್ಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ನಾವು Out breeding, non-synchronization of pollen release and stigma. You know, dichogamy. Earlier pollen matures first. Ah, one day pollen matures first at the pro-tandry. I'll quote you a question. Ah, yeah. ah, so, uh, stigma matures first at the protogyny. Stigma and anther are placed at different height in a flower. Hence, the pollen of the same flower cannot in contact with the stigma of the same flower. This is called hercogamy, heterostyle. Yeah, that's right. ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ನಮ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇದ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರೋಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೋಟೋಗೈನಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹಾಕಿಲ್ಲ ಆಯ್ತು ಇಷ್ಟು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆರಡು ನಾನು ಸೇರಿಸಿರೋ ವರ್ಡ್ ಗಳು ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಈ ವರ್ಡ್ ಹಾಕಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಟು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯೂನಿಸೆಕ್ಷುಯಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಡೈಕ್ಲೈನಿ ಸೊ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಟಿರೋಸ್ಟೈಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಪಾಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಿಗ್ಮ ಎಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅನೇಬಲ್ ಟು ಜರ್ಮಿನೇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಜೆನೆಟಿಕ್ ಡಿವೈಸ್ so protandrous condition bisexual staminate see either staminate or pistillate flower it is a bisexual condition here pollen is already released pollen grains are released ah uh, that is protogynous protandrous St uh, here stigma is not yet open pollen grains are released stigma is uh, opened afterwards it is protogynous protandrous condition this is what they have asked ah uh, protandrous condition that is answer is uh, uh, 17th one statement apart from nectar and pollen grains some plants provide safe place to some plants provide safe place to lay uh, eggs as floral rewards assertion uh, moth and yucca plants cannot complete their life cycle without each other as yucca provides a safe place to lay eggs in turn plant gets pollinated idiga ishtu varage that is usually any of the pollinator if it is an animal it requires some re, uh, reward for the pollination sum sumne yavdo gedad mele hogi ಒಂದು ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಗಿಡಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ಪಾಲಿನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇನ್ ಈ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ತನಗೇನು ಬೇಕು ಆ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ನೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಫುಡ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಆ ಅದಲ್ಲದೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಟು ಲೇ ಎಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೇಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸೇಫ್ ಟು ಲೇ ದ ಎಗ್ಸ್ and in such a situation the moth and yucca are the two plants which cannot complete their life cycle without each other as yucca provides a safe place to lay eggs in turn of plant gets pollinated you ga atti mara nodirbodu ade tara idond yucca plant allu saha age moth will lay egg inside the uh, ovule unfertilized ovule uh, after the fertilization because of this moth process of fertilization takes place where the moth will lay its egg inside as the uh, egg get fertilized and matured it uh, the seed will uh, fruit will develop into mature fruit and once the fruit is ready for the dispersal of seed by that time egg is also hatched into larva larva gets the food from that plant and so the here the apart from nectar and pollen grain sound plant provides safe place to
lay eggs as a floral rewards. That's an example. In Kotro, this statement. That's one example. In Kotro, there is a moth and yakka. However, there is a mutualism. One and between on the Likago Dilla. Moth in Madate, moth will find a safe place to lay eggs. Yakka, what it will get? It in turn get pollinates. Both are getting benefited. Here it is a safe place for moth to lay eggs. And pollen grains are deposited on the stigma of the yakka plant by this moth. So statement is right. Assertion is also right. So both statement and assertion are true. Assertion is the right explanation of the statement. A is the right answer. See that uh, diagram. Uh, yakka, uh, yakka moth and the yakka plant. Female moth. See female moth is pushing the pollen into the uh, stigma tube of the yakka flower while visiting the flower to deposit her eggs. She is interested in depositing her eggs. But without her knowledge, she has deposited the pollen grains of other plant on the stigma. Here, yakka moth, after some time, yakka moth larva, it is one, it is feeding on the seed. See, as the fertilization of the yakka is over, the seeds are produced, the seeds are food for the uh, larva of the uh, moth. It is a co-evolution. Yakka plant illa andre moth illa, moth illa andre yakka plant illa. So it is an example for co-evolution. Answer is A. Answer is A. In nature, most of the flowering plants. Sorry. Uh, answer A alla le. Answer. Yes, answer is A. Sorry, answer is A. <clears throat> In nature, most of the flowering plants are monoecious and likely to undertake self-pollination, which may also lead to Hachina naturally Hachina who only stem in the pistil what to give one who are there today. Haga give easy again self-pollination mad bodhi. Self pollination continuous self pollination. I think you are at the end of the syllabus. You know that there is it leads to the continuous self pollination. Animal breeding leads to the inbreeding depression. That also we studied in the same chapter. So it leads to the inbreeding depression. To avoid this inbreeding depression, the plant will go for the outbreeding devices. Okay. Continuous self pollination leads to the inbreeding depression. It decreases fertilization and productivity. Why the plant will avoid this is it decreases fertilization and productivity. Two, if the fertilization decrease means its species is going to become extinct. To avoid that, it go for cross pollen. What is heterosis? In that one option was given. So I just told heterosis or hybrid vigor. It is an enhancement of characteristics of in the offspring and cross fertilization madre laba yenu kelidre the hybrid vigor will be there characteristics in the offspring will be enough. so answer is b the of the following statement pick out the wrong one regarding the pollen pistil interaction now pollen pistil interaction in a uh, how how will be the pollen pistil interaction hengagutte yak bekadu what exactly the events takes place one after the another it is a continuous dialogue between pollen, grain and pistil mediated by chemical components of both. Yeradralu pollen grains alu chemical irutte, stigma dalu chemicals irutte, adheradu chemicals in a interaction agatte. How dalva? Yes, right. Entry of pollen tube into the ovule through micropylar end. First chemical interaction agatte. Imagine this is the pollen grain. There is a chemical interaction. That leads to the development of pollen tube. Pollen tube reaches the micropylar end. Imagine if it is a micropylar end. Pollen grain reaches here. Huh? Filiform apparatus of the synergid passes through the filiform apparatus of the synergid. Huh? Uh, guide the entry of pollen tube. It involves megasporogenesis. Megasporogenesis ad mele. Egg form, embryo sac, this is not actually involved in this. So, this is the 
of the following statement pick out the wrong one regarding the pollen pistil and idu idu pollen pistil interaction alli idu irodilla idu irodilla mattella sa irutte all these are involved in the pollen pistil interaction but this is the beginning where exactly the uh, egg is formed during that time megasporogenesis will take place so this is the d is the answer see the pollen how the uh, chemical interaction pollen tube passes and here is the egg cell it passes through the synergid huh? see the filiform apparatus guide the pollen tube these are the uh, four events that takes place during pollen pistil a continuous dialogue between pollen and stigma germination of pollen entry of pollen tube to the ovule at the micropylar end filiform apparatus guide the pollen tube hence answer is d so the while con uh, conducting artificial hybridization emasculation is not needed for which plants artificial hybridization madodantandre yeah, any by uh, a flower having both the male and female reproductive system only uh, uh, <coughs> uh, pollen grains or uh, the anther is removed and uh, uh, plant is uh, the removal of anther the immature anther is removed before the development that is called as emasculation next in order to avoid contamination that flower emasculated flower is covered with the polythin bag we call it as bagging idaradu irutte a yavaga artificial hybridization you madbeku antavaga andre when you are adding the pollen grains of one flower on to the stigma of another flower that is hybridization hmm? artificially you are doing ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವಾಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ನಾವಾಗೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡೈಸೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೆಗಿಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತೆಗಿಯೋದ್ ಬೇಡ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ದೇ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇಲ್ದೇ ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಮೇಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೆಗಿಯೋದ್ ಹೌದಾ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ ಬೇಡ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ಸ್ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಆ ತರ ಪಿಸ್ಟಿಲೇಟ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಯೂನಿಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಯೂನಿಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಫಿ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಗಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಬೈಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಂಥರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಬಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಆಂಥರ್ ಡಿ ಐ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ಯೂನಿಸೆಕ್ಷುವಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಇಮ್ಯಾಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ so b answer unisexual female plant next pick up the wrong statement in majority of angiosperm typical ovule as anatropous hechina uh, plant alli anatropous ovule kanistade two protective integuments enclose mass of cells called nucellus one anatropous ovule chitra nent maadkolli ad hecha ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಅನಾಟ್ರೋಪಸ್ ಬಗ್ಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತದೆ ಅನಾಟ್ರೋಪಸ್ ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಎರಡು ಇಂಟೆಗಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಿತ್ರ ಬಿಡಿಸಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದಿಷ್ಟು ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನ್ಯೂಸೆಲಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಅಂಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಂಬಿಡಿಯೋ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮಾದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಒಂದು ಓವ್ಯೂಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮಾದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಂದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆದದ್ದು ಹೌದು ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓವಿಲ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಅಂಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಾ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಾ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಮೆಗಾ ಫೋರ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಎಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ ಡಿಜನರೇಷನ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಒನ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಿತ್ತು ಪಿಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ರಾಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ಪೋರ್ ಮದರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ
See, this is the typical anatropous ovule. There is a two integuments. It is inverted and anatropous. It cover. It has two integuments. Inside new cells is there and and see the one megaspore mother cell undergo division to form four megaspores. In that only one become functional produces embryo sac. That means the answer is megaspore mother cell differentiated at the chalazal end. So, uh, sorry, I'll let you bear in mind. C is the answer, and ovule or megasporangi has C is the answer. Okay. Hmm? Double fertilization involves. Uh, now, we have completed how the anatropous ovule is there, how it is produced, its characteristic feature. Next, we will see what exactly a double fertilization. Double fertilization on rain one. Why it is called as double fertilization? We know that fusion of um, egg with the sperm, and that we call it as a syngamy. What is double fertilization? Double fertilization on rain agate. There is a syngamy and triple fusion. There is a syngamy and triple fusion that we know actually very simple. When in a double fertilization, the egg cell, uh, in a double fertilization, in a fusion of male gamete with a female gamete this is the uh, pollen grain sorry male gamete male gamete uh, fuses with the female gamete male gamete fuses with the uh, female gamete to form the zygote this is called a syngamy in a triple fusion, two polar nuclei will be there with which there is a fusion of another male gamete and there is a fusion of three nuclei and this process is called as triple fusion to form uh, primary endosperm nucleus, pen, primary endosperm nucleus. We call it as primary endosperm nucleus. We call it as primary endosperm nucleus so the a is the answer a is the answer uh, so see the how the double fertilization takes place we understood there is a formation of endosperm and there is a formation of zygote huh? this is so syngamy and triple fusion a is the answer Uh, what is the fate of male gametes discharged in the synergids? Huh? It is the answer is already you know because the, in the previous uh, question it is covered. What is the fate of male gamete discharge in the synergids? One fuses with the egg cell, other with the antipodals. No, one fuses with the egg is right. The next part of the sentence is wrong. One fuses with the egg cell, other fuses with the central cell polar nuclei. Both fuses with the egg. No. One fuses with you know, one fuses with the egg cell, and other fuses with the central cell polar nuclei. This is the right answer. So it is see, uh, one fuses with egg cell, other fuses with the two polar nucleus. Uh, the diagram itself says the answer. So answer is B. Uh, identify the wrong statement regarding post fertilization development. Ovary wall develops into pericarp. The outer integument of the ovule develops into tegmon. Triple fusion product, that is primary endosperm cell, develops into endosperm. Ovule develops into seed. Ovary develops into fruit. Il nimge before and after fertilization, yawa part ye na gatyanta kerta idari. Before fertilization ali ovary le na leerte. After fertilization ad ye na gatyanta. Ovary wall develops into pericarp, that is a fruit. The outer integument develops into testa, not tegma. The triple fusion product develops into endosperm. Yes, ovule develops into seed. Ovary develops into fruit. That is, this is the wrong one. We'll see. See, parts before fertilization, transformation after fertilization. 
ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಪಲ್ ಪೆಟಲ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿದ್ದೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಓವರಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಓವಿಯುಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೀಡ್ ಎಗ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೈಗೋಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂನಿಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೀಡ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋಫೈಲರ್ ಓವಿಯುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸೀಡ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಪ್ ಟೇಕ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಪೆರಿಸ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಔಟರ್ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಓವಿಯುಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟೆಗ್ಮನ್ ಅಂತ ಇಂಟು ಅದು ತಪ್ಪು ಬಿ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಗ್ಮನ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಗ್ಮನ್ ಔಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿ ಉಲ್ಟ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಿನರ್ಜಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಡಿ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಆಂಟಿಪೋಡಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿ ಔಟರ್ ಇಂಟೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆಗ್ಮನ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈಕಾಟ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋನಿ ಪ್ರೋ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ಲೋಬಿಲಾರ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಇಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಶೇಪ್ಡ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ದಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮೆಚ್ಯೂರ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಹೌ ದ ಡಿಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಜೈಗೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಶೇಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎ ಡೈಕಾಟ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಅಂತ a single cell zygote and go repeated mitotic division it forms a first globular embryo huh? a single cell zygote and go repeated mitotic division to form a globular embryo next into no, heart shaped embryo and next into a mature embryo this is what exactly we know so pro embryo leads to globular embryo that leads to heart shaped embryo huh? let us just see this is a is the answer see that one sequential development of dicot embryo hmm? see zygote how it develops into globular embryo heart shaped embryo and the mature embryo so answer is a next is the tender coconut is an example for now kuditivala ele neeru adu yavudak example anta ha ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನ್ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲಾರ್ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೆರಿಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಟೆಂಡರ್ ಕೊಕೋನಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಳನೀರು ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಕುಡಿಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನೀರು ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಅಂತ ಗಂಜಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಕುಡಿಯುವ ನೀರು ಫ್ರೀ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಮೈಟೋಟಿಕ್ ಡಿವಿಜನ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫ್ರೀ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೇಟ್ gradually around each nucleus there is a formation of cell first tumba ele ele neer takondra alli bari neer maatra irutade kudilikke adalli tinlikke a white kernel la yenu irudilla howda gradually a kernel develop aagta hogutade antandre ondu tender coconut adalli free nuclear endosperm irutade amale cellular endosperm eradu irutte howdalva ha a chitra thorustene salpa time aithu salpa fast hogva aitha ha nodu endosperm andre yen anta first endosperm actually it is utilized in the development of embryo embryo aagvaga adu kali aagbekittu ha dicotal kali agutte monocotal ulkollutte the endosperm ulkonde didre yen agutte adu ha endosperm ulkonde irudu see endosperm usually consumed here ha endosperm is totally consumed in the dicot but it is retained in the monocot ha what exactly endosperm andranu ಹ ಎಂಡೋಸ್ಪರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪೆರಿಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲಸ್ ಪೆರಿಕಾರ್ಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಪೆರಿಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೆರಿಕಾರ್ಪ್ ಹೌ ದ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪೆರಿಸ್ಪರ್ಮ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಔಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆಲಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಟೆಂಡ ಕೊಕೋನಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಕರ್ನಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ದ a uh, free nuclear endosperm as well as cellular endosperm thus answer is c okay next match the following column 1 uh, and column 2 column 1 has given different parts of the embryo column 2 is uh, telling what exactly it is, its job is huh? what is epicotyl hypocotyl scutellum coleoptyle coleorhiza uh, see uh what is exactly hypocotyl epicotyl coleoptyle coleoptyle is uh, a protective sheet around the plumule coleorhiza around the radical um, and epicotyle above the
द आंसर इज ये आंसर इज ये ये इज फाइव बी इज फोर आंसर इज आंसर इज ये एपिकोटाइल एपिकोटाइल इज एम्ब्रियोनल एक्सिस बिलो द लेवल ऑफ कॉटेलेडन दैट इज हाइपोकोटाइल सिंगल कॉटेलेडन ऑफ ग्रास स्क्यूटेलम एंड हाइपोकोटाइल एंड क्लोजिंग द लीफ प्राइमोडिया कोलियोप्टाइल एम्ब्रियोनल एक्सिस अबोव द लेवल दैट इज एपिकोटाइल हाइपोकोटाइल इज एम्ब्रियोनल एक्सिस बिलो द लेवल ऑफ कॉटेलेडन हाइपोकोटाइल दिस this 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 scutellum single cotyledon coleoptile hollow folia structure enclosing the leaf primordia radical hmm? okay so answer is a so reasons why angiosperms prefer seed formation and why uh, even though sexual fertilization is a very laborious process still angiosperm prefer why this sexual mode of reproduction or a seed formation what is the uh, preference why they give a preference what is the speciality in that what is the advantage in that it involves pollination and fertilization independent of water just to see till the formation of uh, uh, till in the angiosperm gymnosperms uh, not even gymnosperm Uh, pteridophytes and uh, uh, bryophytes their uh, uh, distribution is very much limited because of the reason they require water for their uh, sexual reproduction hmm? and in the gymnosperm there is no fruit is formed so they also have the limited distribution and where the water independent fertilization is there in angiosperm hence they prefer it involves pollination and fertilization it is independent of water idu water e beda adaptation for their dispersal yakandre seed agutte seed tinlike adu hakki barutte fruit tinlike adu hakki barutte it helps in the dispersal of that plant sufficient food reserve for future embryo embryo for the embryo development there is a fruit there is a endosperm is there so it ensures seed formation ensures the continuation of a species by uh, reserving the food material in it it uh, never brings variation it actually brings variation so e option a b c is right uh, next in majority of angels from different stages of sexual reproduction is independent of water seeds are best mode for the dispersal of plants gali neeru athwa pakshigalu prani yar bekaru adu thakond hogabodu so dispersal of plants seeds contain large amount of reserve food material for the growth of future embryo so the food storage huh? that is the embryo lot of uh, nutrient is there for the uh, development of embryo answer is e okay next uh, statement apomixis is a phenomenon of production of seeds without fertilization uh, assertion and apomectic seed is produced from diploid egg cell or new cell or cell surrounding the embryo statement eno apomixis andre phenomena enu anta production of seed without fertilization how do namu gottuntu ha a seed formation without fertilization adre matra seed agodalla without fertilization ne seed formation adre adike apomixis ante helthivi apo an apomic adr assertion eno apomectic seed is produced from diploid eggs hegela fertilization agade seed hengela agabodu hengela agabodu andre ond egg cell diploid egg cell direct age seed agabodu athwa new cellular cell namu gottuntu new cellular cell diploid it is involved in the actually providing the nutrition adre illi kelo sala kelo new cellular cell nutrition provide maado badlige adu embryo age develop agutte anta statement to correct to assertion to correct both statement and assertion are right assertion is the right assertion of the statement andre apomectic flower seed heng agutte anta first statement helutte assertion adu yavudindagi aa tara seed aagabodu anta eradu dari galan helutte anga statement to correct to assertion to correct to answer is ca iga adrado apomixis agwa different possibilities diplospore apospore adventive embryoni anta see these are the possible way of this is a normal way 
of development amphimixis and these are the three possibilities the egg cell through simple mitosis develops into endosperm and here three uh, three round of mitosis uh, again develops into a seed and here pollen is there the two pollen and adventive embryo some of the new cell are cell some of the new cell are cell develops into uh, no, new embryo this is a normal embryo along with that some of the new cell are cell develops into embryo that one question is there just see now so these are the see the same thing is about that uh, after squeezing orange seeds one can find many embryos of different shapes reason for this one the new orange seed and squeeze madre orange and squeeze madre one the seed and other than tumba bear bear a size in embryo air today yeah okay and take it that is poly embryon here the lag of the center some of the news answer is d doris denning answer is d poly embryon it's not a either actual embryo either lay in a new cell or cell e new cell or cell at least some of the new cell or cell go so you do fertilization i get all a pack the air wagle ये लाल समाप्त नहीं हो सेलर से लाडू तानो एम्ब्रियो आते हैं तब होट बढ़ते अगर नोड इधर ले एम्ब्रियो सब पर दौड़ दागी दी इन्हें तुम्बा दौड़ दागी इधर ना जस्ट स्टार्ट आगे दी सी द एम्ब्रियो सब डिफरेंट साइज यू कैन सी दिस इस द न्यू सेलर एम्ब्रियो न्यू सेलर ले रहे हैं एम्ब्रियो के न okay thank you uh, i hope students you have understood uh, sorry at the end i was little a bit fast we have to be in time we have to finish you people has to go for uh, uh, far away places uh, thanks for everybody for giving me this opportunity students if you hope you have understood if you have you need any clarification uh, you can contact afterwards okay thank you